this is cool um, addendum that's not just Gaia. I'm going to bring some Google Earth action into this too. This is what uh, Leto was talking about being super cool. Um, that day that we were standing in the parking lot, we are standing in this parking lot, and I was showing them about uh, this, this exercise that I had done. Okay, so now this blue root um, is one that I created using Gaia. I have not walked that blue root yet. And I want to see, I kind of want to know what that blue root is going to be like um, before I go out there. And one great way to do that is to um, use Google Earth for it. So if I just touch on that blue line briefly, it'll pull up the, in, and then I can hit the I to pull up the info. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch the three dots in the very top right corner. And then I am going to choose export. I'm going to dump this over into Google Earth. Now, for Google Earth, Google Earth generally likes KML. KML is actually Google Earth format. Now I'm going to, after I choose the KML, it brings up this option of where do I want to share this to? Where am I exporting this to? So you can do a lot of different you know things with it. If you want to mail it, you can actually mail it as a .KML that you could, you know, use on your computer, things like that. But for this purpose of this exercise, I am going to copy to Google Earth right here. Now, Google Earth, the app, is some things it's very good at and other things it's, it's not good at at all. It is not good at saving anything or storing anything. So every time you go in here, you can expect that anything that you looked in looked at before is probably gone. But in this case, I, you know, I just use it on a one-off basis. If I need to bring it back into Google Earth, I can just go back into Gaia and I can export it again over here if I need to. So Google Earth is fantastic um, aerial imagery. Um, and on the iPad and the iPhone, it has the added advantage of be, being able to do um, touch gestures. So I can zoom in, obviously, but some of my favorite is taking the two-finger drag in order to take this three-dimensional and to take the two-finger rotate in order to be able to look at, um, to zoom in and follow this track. So let's go, let's go from the other end. Let's pull it up to the swing it around, pull it up to the parking lot here. It looks familiar. And you can actually see, I mean, it, the, the resolution is great on the aerial footage now. You can actually see some of the trails and what the trail is going to look like when you go walking out. So we're going to go out on this main little trail and hook a left, but then we're going to immediately go off to the right to follow a fainter track um, up through this little uh, rise here. And then, um, yeah, I mean, you can just, you, you see ha here how the, the advantage of being able to look at sort of the terrain. This will be nice and flat and easy through here. And then it looks like we'll drop down into this here. That looks easy also. Kind of interesting. I don't know what that thing is. Maybe a, a dirt pile of some sort. Now I'm backing us down the um, this little mini uh, valley here to see looks like a couple of rocks right there is where we're going to end up so anyway this is um this is something that i'll do often to get a feel get get the lay of the land so to speak um as just an added um added information sort of a more more of a briefing and this also helps me to you know realize that the gaia route that i pick looks pretty good to me um if we had come out on top of this right here um, that would have been fine, nice and flat and fast also, but then we would have had to drop down through this, um, drop down through these, this, this rocky cliff band section, which is probably fine also in order to get back to the site here. But um, this helps plan, you know, whoops, I, I touched on something, threw me out. Um, so this is great for planning purposes. I highly recommend um, that, this, this using the Google Earth. And then I just go out of... Google Earth, just wipe it, get rid of it, and um, and when I next go into it, it may or may not even be in there, but I don't care. All right, that's it.